and now you guys are still doing the legacy tour. We're done. We're done. done. The okay. Tour. Right. Legacy tour, which uh, with Keith Sweat was opening up for you guys, which yeah. is an interesting uh, LSG. Guy, you yeah. know, and, uh, and Tank, Tank. Yeah, and Guy, yeah, my yeah. man. It was You fun. know, my yeah, man Teddy fun. Riley, who I've interviewed before. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, which is like kind of like Guy used to tour around with the original new edition. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So, and we bought the original Guy back. So it was Aaron, Damien, and uh, Teddy. And mm-hmm. uh, that was, you know, do you know how exciting that was for us? Because we, you know, we, we've all been in that circle yeah. and come up in the same circle so it was like to be able to see that come full circle too was that was truly just amazing man crazy amazing but it was fun and and even for us and our relationship uh, the group you know something i i really feel is important that i want to stress to all of these groups out here because everyone seems to think that going solo and the issues that you have with these groups with, with each other that um it is um uh, you know, it's, it, you know, you, you, you keep having these things where it's like, fuck you, fuck you. And I'm going on, I ain't got to do it. And I don't need you and you don't need me. Even in our group, we don't need each other. We all still been able to make a living, uh, individually. Yeah. You know, and, and do quite well. But we yeah. have often said we're more powerful. Uh, uh, we're like a nucleus when we're all together. And, and, and that's important. And, what I learned from my own group that I would love to give that's great advice to these other groups out here that I began to understand even more. Um, Michael and I, like I was saying, we used to butt heads more than anybody. Um, and we sat down one day and had conversations. I remember, I'll never forget it happened when Kobe's pl- plane went down. Mm. Yeah, I sat back and I thought about it and I said, what would any one of us have done if we got gotten that call and one of us was no longer here? And I remember sitting there thinking, all the stuff that we sit and butt heads and argue about and disagree with, how much would it really mean if that phone call, we had gotten that phone call, or if we got that phone call and one of us is no longer here? I mean, it happened to the Migos, right? I remember Offset was separated from the group. They were yeah. beefing, and then Takeoff gets killed. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. No one had a chance to reunite, to, to right. squash it. it. It probably was yeah. not all that serious. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. So and, now, we, and now it's done. Yeah. yeah. And so Mike and I, uh, uh, he's, the, he's the leader of his party, and I was the leader of my party. And it's like we come together and sit down. And we had three, four, five hours of a conversation on the phone going, Here's what I don't like about you. Here's what I thought of you. Here's what somebody said. And we went through all of that for probably about three or four hours for, and talked about just the history of stuff. Well, you know, this things that he was like, I bet you, you didn't know that, blah, 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 blah. And we was just having this conversation. It wasn't going at each other. We was just talking. And, yeah. and from that day forward, we started um, communicating where we would just some kind of way naturally just happen where we started. We would just be calling each other. And we didn't even want nothing. wasn't talking about no business. wasn't talking about no anything. Just whether it was a game or about the kids, the, you know, like, what's the kids doing and blah, 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 and all this stuff, stuff that we didn't do for years because we was just all, everybody was. And I began to watch the connection between me and him that came full circle. And today you can't tear me and him apart. It's like, it's impossible. Love it. And, you know. And what I did was with the other guys, we sat down finally and I realized, I kept saying, what is it and why is it that we all want the same thing, but yet we still cannot seem, we couldn't seem to figure out how to come together on the business of stuff. Then I realized it came to me. (laughs) I sat down with the three of them, Ronnie, Rick, and Mike. And I said, here's what I believe is a problem. Everyone wants to be heard. Everyone needs to be heard. Everyone wants to have a voice. You got to understand what we were doing with each other. And most people do, which is not, which is pretty normal. You just do. Somebody says something that you don't agree with and sounds crazy. The first thing you go, that motherfucker must be crazy. (laughs) That sounds that there's no, 
do you know what that would do if we did that? Bah, 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 bah. And what I learned, what I learned from that, and I understood and took from that when I, when it all came to me, I, it was about understanding that no matter whether what, what a person says, if it's, it might be the craziest idea that they have. And I, but you can't be dismissive to people. It has to be where you have to respect them. And even if you disagree or you might be thinking in your head, you still have to allow them to speak and learn that you have to be respectful and understand that you cannot be dismissive to people when they want to talk or want to be heard or they have ideas. It is important that you hear from every individual and then we sit together collectively and figure out, okay, what's the best way you guys think we should do this? And once I began to see when we all came together collectively and we would have these conversations about these challenges of stuff and somebody would be cutting somebody up, I go, whoa, 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 let, let them finish. Mm. Let them finish. And then you can talk. And as we began to practice that and exercise that and going down the line with allowing each individual to talk, whether it was crazy or not, and we might be thinking in your mind, what? But you still respect it and allow them and then said, okay, let's sit down and listen to figure out which way we should ultimately go with this. It allowed everybody that to be heard. And then at the end of the day, all of us started going in the direction where we go, okay, what do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you guys think? And whoever and whatever the majority was that we ruled, you would go, okay, cool. If that's what y'all want to do, I'm, you know, and it, it wasn't a problem. Why? Because it reached a point where everybody felt like they were being heard. Everybody felt like they had a voice and that they had some level of value. And that allowed us to be able to come in a place to come together to work where we've had, we haven't had no hit records. We haven't had no hit movies in the last two or three years. None of that stuff. We've had our biggest uh, success of doing what we've been doing in our last 40 years doing this, but coming together when you can reach a point with, I'm a gambling man. I like gambling, you know, just having fun. That's my, that's a, to have someone to reach a point where you could tell me that this group would end up someday where when we would leave coming on our last day of tour, we all looking at each other going, damn, man, I'm gonna miss you. Mm. Damn, I'm gonna miss you, man. Man, I hate for this to end. Yeah, listen, I would have lost everything I owned. Somebody told me one day we would be at that point in our lives with our careers as brothers that we would reach that place. And it has been truly a blessing to watch our brotherhood come full circle. We talk and hang and talk about sports and call each other and dealing with the kids' birthdays and stuff. Um, like just now, grown up siblings, where it's not about necessarily we even call and talking about business. And I mean, each, all of us to want each other. So it's not like it's just me and Ralph or it might be just me and Mike. I mean, me and Rick or Ron or somebody, we all just, you know, have reached that level um, in our brotherhood. And I realized, I said, this is, was about respect. And this was about respecting the next man and understanding how um, everybody wants to be heard. And then I realized that even in the arguing, when you see people argue, they, it gets loud because even no matter if somebody's right, another person might be wrong. Even if you're right, the person can't hear you when they're on the defense. Yeah. So at some point, you have to learn. And that's why it gets loud because they're trying to be heard. Yeah. So to sit and learn mm -hmm. how to, to put yourself in a position to sit, whether you agree to disagree, to listen and hear someone out. And then when they're done, then to say, okay, are you done? I, I hear what you're saying. Here's my thought, but here's blah, 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 but I get and then for them to do the same thing and hold them accountable to tell them, say, no, I just, I let you talk and I ask you where you're done. So I was respectfully, can you just let me finish and just hear me out? It gives you so much of an even ground and playing field to be able to figure out what's happening and can we come to and find a solution. I love it. I love it. Well, Johnny Gill, man, That's thank you so much. That's for all the much. groups. For all the groups that are sitting here all the groups, for battling all the teams, and going for against all the each other and trying to... Just Everyone. respect, yes. learn to respect each other, and you ain't, you can agree to disagree. It just falls apart when you have uh, when you just become dismissive and making people feel like they don't have a voice and that they don't have any value because you know it all and you have it all. It's like yeah, yeah, you know, we're older now. For all you groups, mm -hmm. one twelve, all you guys, listen to me clearly. <laughs> we got more days behind us than we do in front of us, and when you've all worked hard, hard, and have put in. Uh, the work that you put in to make that entity level uh, the, 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 uh, the value that it has. Everyone has 
made a contribution. And it's just important at this stage of your life to realize and figure out how to come together, compromise, and understand that, you know, we got more days behind us than we do in front of us, all of us.